Hello, this is Loredana from Quip, and I will present our translation crowdsourcing app, Rosetta. Rosetta is a scalable system based on trust and ratings, with which you can do large-scale translations. We are building this system for translating comprehensive medical terminologies, but it can be used for any database of words or terms. Our principle is, if you want to translate hundreds of thousands of specialized terms, instead of waiting 5 to 10 years, for a small group of specialists to finish this task, it is better to crowdsource this effort and use a small group of specialists to just revise it. We make it even easier to be revised. We have two main methods of collecting translation proposals for every term or word. One is a semi-automatic translation algorithm that I have been personally working on, and this is a link to it. In short, by using existing translations and a database of specialized words, we can obtain a computed translation that follows customizable guidelines. A simple example of a guideline, if we translate terminology anatomica, one of the rules is to choose terms similar to the Latin counterpart. The other method is crowdsourcing and also collecting metadata on the sources used by the crowd. This metadata can also be rated and terms with higher trust sources will be chosen. I am demoing our initial prototype now to give you a sense of how easy it would be to translate hundreds of thousands of words. I have two instances of the app here. The web version, where I am logged in with a user with a trust of 7 out of 11. And the mobile version, where I am logged in with a user that has a trust of 5 out of 11. If I go to the app's word feed, I see all of the existing proposals that have a trust lower than mine. Here we can see all available translations. All proposals start with a trust of zero being either translated with Google or in the original language. Proposals with a trust of two are the direct output of my translation algorithm. Those with a trust of 1 are options that have been built during my algorithm that can also be valid options. Those that have a higher trust and proposals made by are proposals made by human editors, students, professors and specialists. If we see a correct term, we can increase its trust by reselecting it. And also here we have access to all other translations and to the hierarchical path of the term. All the persons that have proposed it will receive an increase in rating. And we can see that the term has now inherited our own trust. We can't see it anymore in our words feed, but users with higher rating can. If we have categories, we can also see the children that are under that category. We can also propose translations. If you see that the user is doing a good job, you can go to the settings and have access to all the users that have a trust lower than yours. You can increase their trust until it matches your own. After that, you can't see them anymore. But of course, a user with higher rating does. Users can join in by simply signing in, and they will automatically have a trust of 3. But you can also invite translators and assign a higher trust, not higher than yours. However, if they make mistakes, their trust will be decreased and also your own. 
you can also benefit by searching terms, especially if you already have in mind a translation. This is a short summary of our process. This is an in-work idea, highly scalable and easily customizable to reflect different translation guidelines. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other